I saw you guys using those 3D objective tokens the other day. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. Oops. That's the whole bag. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, I think you have to grab the bag and then grab from it. I see. There's that collision detector, which I haven't used because I had trouble with it the last couple times. But um, there's things that look like miniatures, 3D things. So like the planet or the... Um, do you know what I'm talking about? I guess you weren't playing in the last tournament, were you? I was not in the last one. I was not. Okay. Uh, oh, nope. One of the community members, Delta, um, made a little gizmo that you can drag your ship onto, and it registers the ship as a miniature. And then, oh, that's um, cool. And then, anytime two miniatures collide, it lets you know. So you don't have to like stare at it and figure out did these ships bump or did I bump into the um the planet and so those 3d objective tokens also work for that which is nice all right these are, oh yeah and these are the same size pretty much it's like they're actually a little tiny bit smaller Oh, yeah. Yeah, I noticed that yesterday. Robert and I were, were trying to find anything in the game that's not round. As I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, so that discussion, it's actually a really good discussion because I will tell you that, I mean, anybody who's been playing on TTS for a while knows that the experience, I mean, it's odd, sure, because it's digital, but but there are things that you eyeball that are like, wait a second, that feels like that's a little bit off. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> And then it's always hard when you when you have scenarios where you have to like insert the actual template into the base, and then oh yeah, I don't know that looks like I've got it about right. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. And, and how far do you put it in and stuff? Yeah. And I think there's limitations to the degrees that you can actually rotate the ships too, right? It only goes in like twelve and a half degree increments. Yeah, so. yeah. You can control that up on the top. Do you know that? The, I, that I did not know that. So no. you see that weightlifter guy up at the very top, the icon. And next uh, to that is yeah. it says fifteen degrees. 15. Oh my gosh! So that's as no detailed idea. as you can get. But if you if that's too detailed, you can switch switch it to thirty or forty. Yeah, that's cool. It would be nice to get more than fifteen though. But uh, one, one would be good. good. Yeah, that's right. All right, what do we got here? I got to get my shields. Six two, and I don't even know. Oh, I will go ahead and put a shield token next to my shuttle just in case. I guess it could be in case I bring out the artillery and shoot it from across the board <laughs> before you can dock it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Secret I actually, card. I actually realized that at the end of my last game, when there was like stuff about bumping or or where is he going to go, I could have brought my shuttle out to sort of give me more options or maybe get in his way for a river. Mm. Or yeah, sure. Did not occur to me in the moment, and that's probably just as well. All right, let's see here. All right, so is there any rule stuff we need to discuss? I think. No, I think I've got Drex clarified now that I only get the crit on that first volley. Um, well, if you, he's on a. You can choose, right? but you only get it one time because, and I finally. Yeah, I logic that out to myself as like, okay, that makes sense because it's a card ability, so it activates once per turn. Yeah, but okay. but you still get the battle stations conversions always. You only get the right. crit conversion once. Yeah. Right. And, and I'm I've convinced myself that everything about your fleet is legal now. 
And, and trying to find. The, yeah. right? go, go ahead. Um, I was going to say, um, I had more than meets the eye on my fleet last uh, last tournament and got a ruling that you can basically play it literally whenever you want. So okay. um, it doesn't so have then, to be at the start of the combat phase or anything. Cool. So yeah, I don't think, I mean, I know what all my cards do. I, I watched your other games, so I kind of know what your plan is and I sort of understand how that all works. So I think we're good. So, so let me see. What are you? The only thing I don't know is what your captain skills are. Five, six, oh, yeah. three, five, six. Yeah. And so basically, con. Yeah. because I'm going to have a plus one admiral, hopefully, assuming I don't yeah. have my stuff, then I'm I'm going to be higher than you. So I'm always going to shoot first and um move last because of the plus one for con. Yep. So you've got twelve and eleven. Uh, except uh, does con, but con still sets up at a six, right? Yeah, or yeah, no? that's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Right, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to set up my whole fleet, and then you can decide what you want to do. But, All right. So I guess I do. I do okay. my objective token first, right? Uh, we roll for initiative, and that says who. Um, oh, even uh, so, ca captain skill doesn't play into that at all. Yeah, because it's like a player level thing. Okay. Oh, so actually, we played that wrong in my last game, I think. Oh, you did it based on captain skill or something? Yeah. I think we, I think we decided not to roll because my captain skills were so. I got one. So, so this so is that most battle play stations down. places first. I got nope. two. Okay, so you're up. It's a nice direct roll. Everything but points. Okay, so. Um, and everything has to be placed completely within the yellow, the inner yellow square, I guess. Yep. yep. And um, range one. Range one, yeah. Which I I was talking to Brian, and he suggested you could drag a ship range circles thing over and kind of hold it over the objective things. I'm I'm kind of leery to do that because I don't want my range circles thing to go away, and I see that happen sometimes. Oh yeah, like, yeah that can sometimes be a little. <laughs> a little dicey. I'd rather just use the stick. Yeah, yeah I mean, the right. stick's a little, it's a little analog, but it works pretty well. So, uh -huh. let's put so one yeah. out here for us. So, my irrational fear is going to keep me from doing the best thing. So, sticks it is. Yeah, I agree. Okay, let's see. So, I place first, and let's go with. That. Dun, dun, dun. That's good. Okay. Oh, sneaky. I'm going to see that once we switch maps. So don't try and hide it in the circle. <laughs> yeah. Where is it? I don't know. All right. That's good. Yeah, I guess if you get your angle just right, you can't even really see it. Yeah. Uh, so what do we have? Put one. I'll stick to the uh, geometry and symmetry here. Cool. That is that looks good. That looks good. Okay, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Okay, good. Okay. It's good. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, 
How do you do that measure thing you were just doing? Oh, Is that um, a tool? You hold the tab key down and keep it held down. And wherever you see. were when you started. Okay, cool. All right, that's fine right there. Okay, that's good. All right, All right, you're good to go. So my whole fleet, I guess, my puny little captain skills against your massively boosted. for now. <laughs> right. Until right. your bio ship is god. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fine. <laughs> um Okay, so my shuttle. Oh. Okay, and my so that was that's a four, and then my Burrell is Cal Hudson with a five. And then Khan with his wimpy six for now. Okay, that looks good to me. Cool. Uh, so my 11. Hmm. Go with this. I like having. Uh, Cards like lure out of the game. Yeah, it especially it makes like the shuttle much more relaxing. Yeah, totally. Uh, so that is good right there. No card. Uh, okay, I am happy with that. Okay. Let's find a nice map to play on. Well, we've always got the purple nebula or whatever this is. This is kind of nice. This one's a little dull, in my opinion. I always like this one. Uh huh. I like the purple one. I like this one. My main thing is I can't. Are, are the circles that are yellow or orange or red? I'm kind of red. They're red. red. They're red. Okay. So if yep. you had something that was like an orangish red, they might not pop out for me, which would be a bummer. Yep. So yeah, let's stick with this one. This one's nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. right. So we don't we don't do timers until we yeah. set dial. Well, once, okay. once our dials are set, then we. Uh, Oops. Then we, uh, let's make sure. Uh, start the timer. Great ship. Yeah. Like I the promise one thing my... I struggle with in this game is managing to click the button to to flip my dial or to reveal my dial. I just sit there. And oh, sit interesting. Sit there, I don't know click, 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 click. Yeah. yeah, it's like a depth perception thing, I guess. Yeah, yeah. There's that the three D world. That weightlifter thing is how high above things you are, and I don't know if that matters. Yeah, clicking buttons, but I always struggle. All right, so across the board from each other, huh? Not a huge fan of that, but I didn't have much control over it. I am set when you are. I'm going to start typing time into the timer here for when you're ready. Okay, thanks.
I get the doggy serenade. Oh, good. <laughs> Can you hear that? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, my uh, my daughter moved over to my mom's house a couple months ago and took her dog with her, so I don't get to uh, I don't get to hear that much anymore. So that'll be nice. Double check here. This first round is always weird because of the bug in the dials. It, mm. it doesn't work until you set them. Oh, the number looks a little weird. Yeah, yeah the number's off. Okay, okay, and okay. All right, my dials are out. You can start the timer when you like. Let's do it. And let's do this. So Khan is now placed, so Khan will go after everyone. And so I'll start with my shuttle. One straight. And I'll dock onto the bio ship. Give my bio ship an ox. And uh, that's it for my shuttle and my Burrell. We'll do a two left turn. And I'll take an evade. And now it's your fleet. All right. Core does a two straight. And he's going to cloak. And Picard's going to do a four straight. And he's going to do. Uh, Battle stations evade. And I believe that, that is it. Okay. Maybe I can't push the button. I guess I'll zoom in. Maybe, I'll do that. Maybe I should just make my dials really big too. I'll do that once I have fewer ships in play. Um, I did a one straight with my bio ship. So it will go ahead one. And it's a green maneuver, so I'll clear the ox. And it will take the shuttle transfer action to move everything but my captain onto the bio ship. And that's it for me as well. And this is actually the Admiral Kiafet, right? Yes, yes, that's right. Oh, oh, is that backwards? Yes. Yeah, it's the captain card, but that's okay. Yeah. Save the there we go. Okay. Cool. So yeah, now that Fusilad's on my bio ship, it's a six dice card. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, that's right. Solid. And I guess that'll do. So I'll get right. my shuttle dial out of the way here. Hopefully, we won't be needing that. And
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip the initiative token for us. Oh, okay, thanks. I guess that's probably not going to matter ever, is it? Unless we get... Probably, I guess. Captains yeah, that's... or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, it won't matter for me, and it won't matter for you. You're the only one that can do anything to anybody's captain. And, like a crit uh, or something, in it? Oh, yeah, that's true. Last game, it was super important because I felt like half the dialogue was, okay, let's see, you have initiative, so your con and my con. And oh, my God, yeah. Crazy. All right, so I'm happy with that, and I'm unhappy with that. All right, I am set. Okay. All right. So I'll start with my Burrell. And I am going to, oh, it looks like I just flipped them. I didn't need to flip them, right? Those are set. Oops. That's... Either way, they're hidden. <laughs> Let's just flip out. Okay, um, my Varel does a one bank left, and we'll see if I uh, plan this out okay. Very interesting. Range two, so I can malt. So I will malt to move. So I'll do the same thing I did last time. I'll move Drex and Ramadaquan up here. And I'll use Goval to keep malts from getting discarded. So I'll use Goval. I'm going to try not to fly off the board next to me. That will be my big goal for turn three. <laughs> All right. All right, uh, so Core does a three bank left. Dun, 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 dun. And uh, Core is going to, uh, oh, let me see my. Now might be a good time for more than meets the eye. Uh, I dis I disagree. I think I will just go ahead and take an evade for now. I'm good with his position. And Picard is going to do a three straight. So he will, in typical Picard fashion, in a moment, do that. Okay. You're up. All right. I did a two straight. And I'll get into practice with a Drex. That I'm afraid won't matter. No, it won't matter. Did you say Drex? Drex, yeah. Um, you know, we one thing we did in our game the other day to remind us, I don't know if you'd like to do it or not, but we placed a copy of his card right oh, next yeah, to the ship. Sure. Yeah, that was a good idea. I've seen that done with fake messages. Uh -huh. Where you like put it there instead of the dial, so you remember. But yeah, that's good. That's a good idea. Yeah. We sometimes my son and I like to put a little stack of battle stations next to him or something. To, to <laughs> because he's got so many battle stations. <laughs> but I this love works it. Too. All right. I guess that's it. Uh, yeah. No. No shooting.
So I'm going to flip the initiative token. We must be taking this pretty seriously. This game's pretty quiet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I'm good when you are. Okay. Um, you don't have your maneuver cards, right? I'm going to go look at Utopia at your maneuver uh, cards. No, That's I'm okay. sorry. I do not have them pulled. Yeah. That's fine. No problem. That Enterprise can, uh, is a weird maneuver card. Uh, it? Uh, yeah, it's fast and it's got that that hard turn, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. That'll work. Actually, not sure what to do here. Where are the maneuver cards? Are they on the island of No Touchy here? No, they're out in the middle of the board here. Uh, that thing that has the Queen of Clubs on top for some reason. I, I, I can check while I've, if you want to have it. Oh, here they are. Oh, it actually, oh yeah, it's blank to me. Oh, really? Yeah. In here? Did you find the? Yeah, I'm searching there right now. Um, oh, that's interesting. The word enterprise does not search in here. Oh, yeah. I don't see. Oh, oh, oh maybe sovereign. sovereign. Yeah, there we go. Sovereign. Yeah. Got it. All right. Here's sovereign. And here is uh, the uh, boar. There we go. Porcha, yeah. Okay, thanks. I guess I can take Drex back too. He did his job for that turn. May never bring him out again. I'm not sure. All right, there's that, and there's. All right, this time I actually successfully pushed the set buttons. And your dials are out. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. All right, I'll start with my Burrell. Hopefully I didn't mix these up. Three right turn. Let's do it. Ooh, that was scary. But... I'm back. I'm and gonna guess that that did not did not go off the board. Oh, is that actually how the rule works? I haven't realized that. that would be fun. Uh, is it? Uh, oh shoot. 
I assumed that you would know that. I thought I thought that's what it was, but I don't think it went off anyway. Now nah, you're good. You're fine. Yeah. My main thing was to get away as from my bio ship as fast as possible. So mm -hmm. I could get Lone Hunt in place, but they still have Absolutely. Yep. Malt. So that was my little trick there. Okay. Um and I will cloak as my action. I think. Check range here. It sounds like the thing to do. Okay. Your fleet. Okay. Uh, core does a one straight. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and have him take the Drex action. Okay. Might as well. And Picard's going to three bank left. Ah, all right, this could get ugly. Uh, so let me see here. We're going to go uh, battle stations and scan. OK. Con. All right. Uh, I did a, I guess, no sense checking me out. I did a two left turn. I think it was a, maybe a little too conservative here, but we'll see. Whoops. Okay. Well, I'm afraid you're shooting first. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, doesn't matter, does it? I'll yeah, pass. action. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so yeah. So no shooting from the bio Ooh, ship. I could just catch your Drex, but can't. Oh yeah. Card, so. take, out, take out, take out my Drex, man. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> All right. I have a feeling All you're right. shooting at my Burrell. I'm definitely gonna shoot your Burrell. Uh, I'm of course gonna use the Enterprise E photon torpedoes. I'm gonna use a special ability to take an Augs token so of a target lock. Disable the torpedoes. So, secondary weapon, range three, primary plus one, six dice. And I have a scan token. So, blanks to battle stations and battle stations to hits. So two crits and four hits. Yep. I am not getting a range three bonus, right? Nope. Because it's a secondary weapon. So I'm going to roll five defense dice. Except you're going to roll four because I do have a scan token. Four yep. defense dice. I don't know why, but sometimes I just can't drag these out. I'm going to roll four defense dice. And you have six hits? Uh, yes, four hits and two crits, yeah. Yeah, so um, not really liking my chances here, but that's OK. Mm, that's nope. respectable. But I'm cloaked. So I die. I guess I should have taken an evade, huh? If I thought you might come into range. 
Uh, you did well. You've got an evade token here. But, oh, oh uh, I, I announced that I was cloaking, and that's what I. That's. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Uh, does that, that impact your decision? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 not at all. Well, it wouldn't matter either way because I got six hits and you have three evades and you only have three hulls. So either way, it wouldn't matter. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're cloaked. So that's why I rolled the four dice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if I didn't even notice that. I didn't notice that you didn't have the cloak token. <laughs> <laughs> not very good button pushing. Did you yeah. think I was cloaked? You did, right? I did know you were cloaked. Yeah, I just, okay. uh, and then I looked over inside the evade. I got all confused. Everything's fine. <laughs> Sorry about that. No problem. But I will remove my glorious barrel from the board once again. Once again. All right. Uh, time for I win. No. <laughs> <laughs> I should have kept my eye on the timer a little more. <laughs> what do we got here? 39. Okay. Wow. So Core's is, Core is also out of range, so he's not shooting anybody. So that's it for combat. Yeah. Okay. Well, nice not to have to think about my Burrell anymore. So, got that going for me. Oh, sorry. I didn't, uh, I pressed it right after you did. Go ahead. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm never quite sure about the. Uh... Yeah, only one can be on at a time. What's so like, polite you, you, and what's not. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I guess they're kind of equivalent. Okay. Yeah. Take one more look at this myself here. And I suppose I got to bring Drex back. And your your torpedoes can shoot out of the back too, is that right? Uh, that is correct. Yeah, I have a rear arc. Yeah, ninety degree rear arc. And it's just that shift. All right. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and flip the initiative token because I don't think we did that yet here. Yep. All right, I have set my one dial. I've used my psychic abilities to perfectly guess your maneuver. Nice. And I'm ready to proceed. Okay. <laughs> 
Excellent. Uh, so I'm low man now. So core goes first. So one straight for core. And uh, core is going to go ahead and uh, take the Drex action. Okay. And Picard is next. Picard does a one bank left. Rather predictably, probably. Uh, toss the Ogs token. I will take a battle stations and I will re enable the torpedoes. See, that was supposed to be my Burrell flying in right now and keeping you from doing that, but it didn't <laughs> happen with Gorath. <laughs> but, too bad. Okay, um, so you took your two actions, right? Yeah. A one straight. Go ahead and click it. Yeah. So everybody's at range three, it looks like. Yeah. That's a little bit. Okay, I will also Drex. All right, I guess we should do right. this shooting. Yep. Okay, but before we get to the shooting, I am in the forward firing arc two enemy ships. Yeah. So my rem my Ramada clone will trigger. But yours only has one enemy ship, so not going to trigger. And I've got lone hunt. So I'm going to be rolling nine dice, I think. All right, do you have anything before we start shooting? Uh, I am going to, let's see, I'm going to double check my range here. Uh, I think the only thing that I have left that I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my more than meets the eye uh, right now. Right. Um, so I'm going to flip that over. And so I have a scan now, and that's about it. So uh, now I just have to try and live. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> All right, so your Klingon has, this is going to be a tough call here. Klingon has five hull, and you're rolling five defense, uh, five defense dice, maybe six, if I'm thinking about that. Uh, it should just be the five, I think, yeah, right? Well, depending on whether I'm doing primary weapon or... Oh, correct, yeah. Or fuselage. I am not sure which one I should do here. Nine dice, and then... Six dice. It's tempting to do that fuselage. Nine and eight, I guess it would be. <sighs> no, I'm gonna.
I'm going to um, do a primary weapon attack on the Klingon. Okay. So you're rolling six defense dice, and I've got Drex quality. And you're starting with six, and then you're getting uh, two from two Ramada from Pond, one and from one lone hunt. lone hunt, right? And that lone hunt I can only trigger once per turn. So. Mm -hmm. So I won't get it on my second attack if I uh, do additional phase reverts. All right, let's roll those nine dice and hope for no points. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do my Drex conversion to a crit on one of these and a hit on the other. So okay. Five regular hits and a crit. All right. Defense dice. Come on. Papa needs a new pair of shoes. Oof. Ooh. Couldn't have gotten much worse. Wow. Uh, I can convert one of those with my cloaking device, but that's not enough. So that was a super bad wow. roll. I'm sorry about that. That was rough. <laughs> I thought my bad roll was bad. But wow. Not bad. Oh, that was, that was really bad. Let's I forgot about your cloaking again. device, too. Wow. Oh, look at that. I rolled four evades the next time I did <laughs> it. Yeah. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay. That's a super bummer. So, my last gas for Ramadaclan here, I will use additional phaser arrays to take a second primary weapon attack. So I disable additional phaser arrays. And I'm gonna lose my two, I'm gonna lose two, because it says minus two. And I'm going to lose my lone hunt, but I still get Ramadaclan. So I think I'm rolling six dice now. Uh, six for the Bioship, minus two for additional phasers, plus two for Ramadaclan. And the lone hunt I already used up. And my Drex crit conversion I already used up, but I still get battle station conversion. And your range three. So you're rolling two dice, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what happens. Six dice with Drex Battle Station conversion. Oops. <laughs> well, my <laughs> dial is going to get flipped. Roll as well. All right. I am not complaining after your three debacle there. Three hits, three plain old hits. All right. Uh, one evade, so I'll take two of the shields. Okay. Looks good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Okay. So we're we'll shooting at the bio ship, obviously. Uh, I am deciding exactly how I want to do that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess I should have gotten a uh, plus one oh, defense oh, yeah, dice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why don't you roll that now?
All right, it was a blank. Uh, <laughs> Drex is not going to help me here. So he goes back to the. Oh, and the uh, Ramadicon's gone. Okay, uh, I think I am going to, uh, I think I'm going to use my primary weapon here. Okay. And it's a move. Uh, so as a result, um, I'm just going to be, uh, all I have is the, um, is the battle stations really the quality. I think this is the right move to make. Gosh, this is uh, trying to. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want to do. Take your time. Okay. okay, so that's what I'm doing. So uh, it's a range three shot, primary weapon, so that's ballast five. stations, and I've got a and I've got a scan. Yeah, yep. Okay, five with ballast stations. Um, I don't think so. My first thing that happens is in uh, compare. Well, my first thing that happens, I'll roll the dice. So let's see what you do. All right. So here we go. So four hits. Okay. And I'm just going to roll my usual two, right? Plus one for the. Oh no, no, it's also Range. subtracted. It's so, subtracted. So you should roll four. Except for your skewer. Uh oh, right, because you've got yes, correct. Yeah, three. So I roll three. We agree. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not rolling it. I'm just relocating these to the, to the spotlight here. All right. And you had four hits. So three hits. Three regular hits. Okay. Just enough. Just enough to trigger your reinforced shields. <laughs> yeah. I guess there's no point to uh, to using my bioship beta, is there? Because then I wouldn't. Oh wait. Let's see. <laughs> compare results and then suffers. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll just. I will lose two shields. I believe. You agree with that? Mm hmm. Okay. One and two. Okay. I guess that's it. Sounds good. And let's see, do you have anything disabled currently? You did not use your torpedoes, right? Oh, and your torpedoes are range two to three. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't say on the card, but I think those are two to three. Yeah, they're range two to three. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is weird. It doesn't say it on there. It says it on the real card yeah. somewhere. Okay.
All right. I'm set. Okay. I'm set also. Uh, okay. So you have con, so I go first. Now Picard's going to do a three turn left. Oh, I forgot about the torpedoes. Oh, well. I'll reserve it. And uh, I'm going to take a scan and a battle stations. I think you went over the obstacle, but I guess I'm not sure. Yeah, we should get the template out probably. I'll, I'll stick that. You can do your stuff. There it is. No, that's all right. Let's measure it. Pretty sure you're right, though. Yep. Yep. Okay. So I roll one die. All right. Nothing. Nothing. I guess. Oh, yeah. I should have rolled that first and then done my actions, right? That's the proper it, uh, order. Things, oh, actually, probably. I think you lose your action if you go over it. No, they... Oh, no. Is that true? I'm not sure, but I think I can go look. I'll go look in our. Um... Our Troy thing. Oh, oh, that would be a bummer. I'm not sure. But I think that happened to me last time. So. Obstacle. Oops. I guess we could do a judge call, but I don't know. Uh, when a ship executes a maneuver in which either the maneuver template or the ship's base physically over overlaps an obstacle, execute the maneuver as normal, but skip the perform action step. Okay. My mistake. All right, uh, your turn. Okay, well, forgetting about your rear arc, despite the fact that I just asked, I did a one bank left. So, range one looks like? Yeah, yeah, so it doesn't matter anyway. Obstructed and I'm not going to bother with the Drex, but I guess I will get two days. I guess I'll take an evade. Okay, uh, oh, oh. well. You're to, oh, oh, you're right, because it's, uh, it's range two. Okay. It's range two to three, so I don't I don't think I either you. one of us is shooting at each other here. Okay. That was lucky, wasn't it? Well, it it was kind of a it's a crazy crazy series of events there. Yeah, if we tell the tale of this battle, maybe we'll just skip this round. Get on yeah, I <laughs> well it's you know I I kinda yeah. Well we'll talk about it afterwards. Yeah, okay. So we should be able to get in a bunch more rounds here. Uh, ships left. So I'm going to flip the initiative token, which I think I've remembered to do every time, but yeah. now I'm unsure. I suspect it won't matter. I'm, I'm OK with whatever it is. It's kind of fiddly to have to do that. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, never mind. I got you now. I understand what you probably want to talk about after. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Oh, that was stupid. Uh, everything was stupid. I should have um, I should have re-enabled my phasers instead of it. All right. I'm just going to leave that one in the past. All right. Anyway. There'll be a strange seven gap in the tapes where nobody knows what, <laughs> <laughs> what could they have possibly have been doing <laughs> all right i am happy with my dial at long last and my dial's down uh, my dial will be down in a moment here Is what you call flying for your life. <laughs> All right. I hope my TTS calibrated eye is working here. I'm set. Okie dokie. Uh, Picard does a one bank right. Right. Ah, dang it. I thought it was going to clear. I think, when? I think it did. Did it clear? Yeah. Yeah. Robert said what you can do oh, is, okay. is hold your mouse over your ship and it draws the outline yeah. over the ship. Yeah. It's, okay. Uh, All right, cool. It looks good to I me. guess I just barely. So. I see blue in between. All right, cool. Uh, that was close. That was a little closer than I thought. Um, so I'm going. I'm going to take a battle stations and a scan. Uh, oh wait, hold on, hold on. Actually, before I call that the end of my turn, can I just double think something yep. real quick? Sorry. So I was expecting you to do so. Yep. No, sorry. There is one one small change I want to make to that. Sorry about that. Um, instead of the scan, so my main ship action is what I mean to say uh, is going to be. My main ship action is going to be to second of five. And oh, there's so many good targets. I'm feeling fortunate that I'm, I'm more distributed than usual. I, I think, what we should do. I guess I do. I I'm think, say. well, I think the right answer, and we can talk about it afterwards, I think the right answer is to second of five directs here. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to flip second of five. And I'll flip directs. Uh, and then with Picard, I'll take a battle stations. And I am calling my turn good. I'm finalized on that. Okay. Sounds good. Well, so you are going to be an arc pretty much. Okay. Yeah, me too. Same thing about the eye. I I did a come about, three come about. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I guessed wrong on that. I didn't think you were going to do that. I huh. thought about fleeing, but wasn't sure I could actually get away. So three come about it is. Two come about. 
And how's it looking? Um, uh, range three, yeah. Just got the corner. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, and I get an ox. I uh, seriously thought about doing a forehead or a banking boy, but I what I thought you were gonna do was a one straight. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I could get out of it, so I decided to turn around instead. Okay. Um, well, I do not get an action because of my ox, so I guess we're just shooting each other here. So I'm going to get six, seven dice with zero quality. So I should just roll my seven dice. Looks like. Oops, there's seven dice right there. No, six dice. Do you have anything before combat? Or I think you used yours, right? You had something, right? Cool. Uh, yeah, the only other thing that I that I really had was that scan token. So yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty bare bones at this point. Okay. All right, I'll roll my seven dice and see what happens. Let's root for a bunch of hits. If you don't mind. Pretty good. Four. Four regular hits. All right, and I've got uh, one on the ship, one for range, and one for obstructed shot. So three defense dice. Wait, wait, uh, don't count this. Okay, um, hold on. okay not counted, not counted, not counted. I'm what? sorry. I'm sorry. Don't you have four, or is that shield that you got extra? You, you have that systems upgrade, but that's yeah. That just is extra shields. So that just gave me six shields to start with. That okay. was it. But it's not extra defense. Dice. Uh, yeah, it goes my perfect. It goes my perfect defense dice roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's the real defense dice roll, which I'm sure will duplicate those results. Yep, yep, almost a guarantee. All right. All right. Well, two's not bad. Uh, so I take two to the shields. Okay. My turn to shoot. And I'm guessing so, you're with a secondary weapon, aren't you? Definitely going to go with secondary weapon, photon torpedoes. Uh, I need the AUGS token for that. And so that is primary plus one, which makes it six. Those battle stations. I will spend my token, so six hits. Okay. I'm rolling three dice. Over here and then roll one. One of eight. So five regular hits. I will use my Bioship Beta ability to remove one of the regular hits and take a second ox. And so I would take five, no, four hits? Four hits. Yeah, I can get these oxes apart. Okay, and um, I'll also use reinforced shields to Oh, at first I take the damage. Off. So I take mm -hmm. four hits, which is my remaining shields, and then I'll use reinforced shields to uh, repair one of them. So I lose three shields. Okay. You know. And that leaves me with one shield. And. 
and uh, in the end phase, I'll disable T9 energy converter to um, remove an aux and repair one chip. Okay. All right. Let's Okay, I'm good. Okay, me too. All right, here we go. Is that one straight? Clear the aux. Uh, I will use the ship's action to re-enable the torpedoes. Take a battle stations with the card. All right, you're up. Okay. Um, I did a. I also did a one straight. And I will also clear my ox. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We're both in range. Yeah, no. Right? no, you're good. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> And that's going through that obstacle, no matter what. I think. Yeah. Ever since that last game I played, where one of the die, one of the things showed range two, and the other one showed oh, a different did that really range. Happen? Yeah, it was yeah, it was really yeah, it was the weirdest thing. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna. Okay, um, and I get an action, and with my action, I'm going to re-enable additional phase hurdles. And then I guess we move to combat. So I'm going to get seven dice, three, three. Seven dice, no quality. Shortly to be followed by four dice, no quality. So, uh, not a quality. Okay. Seven dice. Oh, sweet. One hit. Ah, uh, I needed that. Uh, okay. By the way, time just ran out. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm not going to get my shields if you destroy me. I'm like, hold on. All right. Well, I got Buckus on that, so I'll take one of the shields. So I should have evaded, I think. I was thinking I had two. No, I guess it's 
All right. Um, so you took one shield? Okay. I did, so I'm down to one final shield. Okay, and then with my... Um, I'll do my second additional phaser raise attack. I'm correct. Okay. Same three defense dice. There's an evade. Alright, uh, so my turn to shoot. Yeah. So I'm going to use. Uh, this is messing. I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to use my torpedoes. So okay. I'll disable. Good plan. Torpedoes. Of course. Same old, same old here. Six dice. No crits. Ah, uh, shoot. I was hoping for a couple there. All right, blanks to battle stations and battle stations to hits. So it's just going to be six regular hits. I would have deserved it. I really needed at least a couple in there, but I got nothing. All right, and I'm rolling <laughs> three, right? Uh, wait, uh, two plus, yeah, but two plus one for the obstruction. For the obstacle, yeah. And it was a second, it was a secondary attack. So. Six hits against oh, two of raids. So four get through. I'll block one with Bioship Beta again. So three get through. So I take two, two shields and a hole. And then I repair one shield. Whew. Well, good game, sir. Good game. <laughs> Good game. I uh, I knew I was in trouble when you uh, when Kempek went down so quickly. That was that was a bit of a bummer. <laughs> I, I was I was really tempted to fuselage there, but I did not want Kempek shooting at me. Yeah, I thought you were at a fuselage for sure. Uh, I I realized that. Um, well, you know, my plan of splitting my ships was to eventually kind of try and avoid that, but I couldn't. I, I, I my tempo was off. I wasn't fast enough with the E, and I wasn't slow enough with Chempex to kind of get enough separation between the two. Wait, but yeah, just, over here where you're, when you did your uh, when you did your flip around here, I thought you were going to do a two. I thought you were going to do a two bank. Uh, sorry, not bank. Turn right and whip around this thing to keep your primary cannon facing towards me. Mm. So that was interesting. Yeah, I don't have a good sense for the. I, I think it would only go straight down the void, right? Because it would go two, and then I'd be facing. So if I did a two turn. Oh, wrong way. So instead of, uh, what did I do? I did a three coming up. I don't know. Maybe this is more. And then he did a one forward. Yeah, you'd have to undo the one forward and then undo the. It's probably more efficient way to do that. OK. So I did a three come about, and I was facing that way. And then, and then do a two turn right. Oh, but see, okay. So then, so that would have only worked. Yeah, okay. If I would have done like a one yeah. bank left, it might have worked. I kind of wanted to just flee the board, but I wasn't sure I could get away from you. Well, I knew that you could do that, and I was just kind of counting on the fact that you wouldn't do it. Because <laughs> I didn't really have another, right? I had to keep taking green actions so that I could keep, or green moves so that I could keep re-enabling the stupid torpedoes so that I could keep using them. Yeah, yeah. And I just, uh, it, given a little bit more time, I might have I might have been able to do something. But yeah, losing Kempex, I mean, he didn't even, he got to do zero in the game. So that right. was... I thought yeah. you were going to second of five my reinforced shields. That's what I was worried about. Well, see, about. so that was the other I watched you hover over it, and I was worried. I don't know what would do better. Well, so the, my reasoning on that was that I knew that I was going to be getting a lot of hits on you at a time. Like, I'd be getting six hits on you at a time. So my reasoning was that in hopefully a couple of attacks, your reinforced shields would, you know... They wouldn't have that much of, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're of an impact a, because I was doing so many hits at a time. And I figured the only quality that you had for 
for your dice was Drax. So yeah. if I got rid of him, at least you might be throwing seven, eight, nine dice, but no quality, so at least there was a chance. Yeah, yeah. I was sitting there doing the math, and I think I should have taken an evade because I wasn't going to kill you. Mm. But you could have got, I think, with enough crits there. Well, this whole idea of, in this particular game, I think this way of doing it with the dock in the shuttle and then having one big ship is a good one because there are only so many ways that you can configure 100 points. You're either going to have three kind of mm -hmm. small ships or two mediums and a tiny or two big ships. Those are kind of your... I mean, I guess you could go super wide. Did anybody go super wide? Did anybody do a swarm fleet? Yeah, Kylo had a bunch of D7s, and I guess Christopher had... I think three, three Herogens and a uh, Andorian or something like that. Oh yeah, I liked his. They, yeah, they all had IDS on them. I like that. Yeah, one. yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So I seem to be playing for the fifty to twenty nine score, no matter what. That's what happens. Has happened all three games here. So yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm not well, very well good done. Of Burrell. <laughs> you too. You too. That was fun. <laughs> I was really hoping you were going to drive that Burrell right off the board. I thought about it. But, uh, <laughs> I, I may as well have. I, I felt. I actually felt good about his use. I, I felt because really, what I was most afraid of you doing was blasting at me with your E and taking away my additional phasers. And I was yeah. hoping I could time things to get an attack in before you could do that, but I wasn't sure. So you going after my Burrell and then um, me getting to focus on Kemp, on Kempex, although you stayed back, so that was a bummer. But and actually, and actually, that may have been part of my mistake because had I, well, see, I needed to get the E closer is what I needed to do. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I should have never let you, if I could have helped it, take any shots at range three, mm -hmm. because once I got into range two, I was, I was just more powerful that way, you know, because yeah. I could use the fuselage and the seven of second of five, and yeah, the yeah, torpedoes. Yeah, right. right. It's rough when, on the one hand, you want to stay back because of your torpedoes, but on the other hand, you want to get in close enough for second of five. So that, yep. that makes it challenging on you. Um, it does, and I, having played this fleet a couple times now, I am realizing that that is a challenge because I really want to be at range two, and that's you know, yeah. it's a pretty narrow window. Yeah, yeah. Well, where I've seen second of five most effective is on a, a less powerful ship, so it can fling itself ahead. And if it mm -hmm. dies, it dies, but you got that in at least. That, that you, there is no less powerful ship when it's 50 and 50. So I don't know. I, I was happy to see you set up the Enterprise further away from me for, for the same reasons. But mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what lessons there are from this game. It's, it's yeah, I, I, yeah, I mean, I guess I shouldn't talk about it too much because there's still games left to be played. But yeah. th there's, yeah. certain, there's certainly a couple of strategies that I take with the E that I figure if I just do it consistently and then see if I win or not, then I'll know whether it's a good strategy or not. <laughs> <laughs> I was feeling so stupid when I forgot about your rear arc, and I could easily have done a longer move that got me into range two, but that was just oh, yeah. pure luck. <laughs> I felt lucky that first time you forgot to re-enable additional phasers. That oh, was God. that was a, that was one <laughs> little game, but yeah. Uh. All right. Cool, man. All right. Well, have a good rest of your weekend. You too. Thank you for the game. That was a that was a pleasure to play. Yeah, it was a good time. All right. All take right. care, man. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.